48 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist Jeff DeNoyer. All right, Jeff, as barrel barrels on westward, you know, what are we going to expect here? Any tail end of that? You know, barrel, huge impact. What a storm. I yeah. mean, Cat 5 this early in the season. Uh, parts of Texas will have 8 to 12 inches of wow. rain Sunday night into Monday, and we may actually get some rain from the remnants of barrel right. next week. Let's time that out for you. I know a lot of people hear that and they're like, what? We're having a hurricane, a tropical storm? No, we're not. We're just going to have a little bit of enhanced rainfall. I'll break it down for you. But first, stop and smell the roses. As I always say, Decatur, 76 degrees with a beautiful glow. It is civil twilight, almost sunrise, which will be at 539 this morning. Temperatures in the 70s, uh, upper 60s. You know, it's been hot. It's been humid. But we haven't been breaking any kind of daily high temperature records. But you know what we keep doing every night is we keep breaking, we call it the high minimum temperature for the day and in Huntsville for July 5th we tied the record of 76 yesterday the nights have been really really warm but this is what changes this weekend the forecast the dew point in the 60s it's not quite there yet but it will drop all day long today and stay there for Sunday which means that it's more comfortable for you but the humidity will come back Monday Tuesday and Wednesday so a little bit of a break. It's nice. We'll hit 90 without the dew point being in the 70s, and you'll feel better outside, all because this frontal boundary slipped nicely to the south last night, and this is pretty much where it will stay. If you have plans and you're driving towards South Bama or Central Bama today, there could be some rain showers, but this front stays just far enough south that allows us to have a little cloud cover mixed with sunshine, but overall it's a nice day, 90 degrees. Uh, tomorrow, 93, uh, partly cloudy. I put 20% in. If you are south and east of the Tennessee River, you could have a straight shower or storm in the afternoon, but most areas will stay dry. Let's talk about tropical storm barrel was a hurricane at one point and it will likely become a hurricane once again as it gains a bit of strength in the Gulf as it leaves the Yucatan and moves closer to Texas by Sunday night into Monday. And we in Alabama are now in the cone of uncertainty, the most misunderstood cone of all because it doesn't mean we're getting a tropical storm or a hurricane, but what happens is once the system makes landfall at weekends, right? It's no longer a tropical storm, but we call it the remnants or what's left over of it. It's like the last piece of the cake, so to speak. Everybody else has eaten all the cake. One last piece is this little low pressure, this L here, and this could enhance some rainfall as we go into next week, especially for Tuesday and Wednesday. So rain on the roof. Yep, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, real high chances, and that would be something that we could really use for those of you especially who missed out on the rain yesterday. Here is what's going to happen day by day, Tuesday morning, Tuesday night, and look at all that rain spreading to the east. Now the bulk and the core of the heaviest rain is still to our west, but we do get a pretty good dose of rainfall in here sometime by Tuesday night into Wednesday. We could be looking at potentially one to three inches across our region. If that little axis of heavy rainfall that I just showed you that was to our west were to shift a bit more to the east, we could even get more rainfall from what's left over of what's now tropical storm barrel. Okay, that's for next week. Once that system moves away, still a few lingering storms by the end of the week and more rain possible with temperatures in the low to mid 90s. We know you'll